There we go. Anybody know where we're going? No. Ryan? Lake of the Ozarks, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Before this truck moves, we need a plan. Well, River Rats, we literally just got off the water. We camped for two days, and now we're going to go fishing. Seven hours, 25 minutes. Somewhere. <laughs> Maybe Lake of the Ozarks. And it's almost 7 o'clock. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, we'll let's get go. there at 14 o'clock. We're good. 14 o'clock. <laughs> All right, we got to figure out where the dam is. Well, that's 435. Yeah, up to Oklahoma City. That's not far. That's only like three hours, four, four hours maybe. I'm debating whether we even fish tomorrow morning. Go somewhere, crash. until we get tired, crash, head out. out in the morning? Yep. That works for me too. Okay. okay. I thought you wanted to fish, man. I always want to fish. I know. I also understand this is a, a, a marathon and not a sprint. Oh, we're sprinting now, bud. We're there in three hours of the dam. To the actual dam. All right, let's do it. If you want to fish more, then that's the best option. Twist my arm. Oh! <laughs> Come here, give it to me. Oh, good one. All right, I guess the plan is we're going to go fishing after all of that. Sounds like a great idea to me. 32 belly option on two on two. <laughs> Navigator. Well, this sucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen sparks. She's grinding pretty good. Well, we got a job to do. We are, uh, what was it, 6.4 miles away? <laughs> Great timing. This was the last time you had to change a trailer tire. I never have. Never once. Uh, the one time I did, we were talking about how it couldn't get any worse. Then it, it started did. raining. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could definitely get worse. Yeah. Nothing was damaged. Everything's good. So we're not going to talk about that. Great plan. I'm just going to get her done. Go take go. a shower for the first time in three days. It's back to a nice relaxing That's drive. Right. We oh, got the, the trailer tire taken care of. We're gonna go ahead to hotel. Then we're gonna wake up and head to the river. Hopefully no more flat tires, but we're gonna pick up a spare. You know, you could never have too many spare tires, apparently. Morning, we uh, survived last night. We got that tire change with a minimal fiasco. It's uh, always a joy changing tires on the side of the interstate. One of my favorite hobbies, not. But uh, there's all kinds of fish down here. My favorite fish, though, are ones with stripes, and that's what I'm most excited about. And coffee, I'm excited about coffee. What are you excited about? Giants. Giants. Is there any other kind of fish? Little ones. Yeah, we found those there's too. There's little ones and giants, there's no difference. Me? No. People call me a lot meaner things than that. I feel more like a billy goat when I have half a cup of coffee under my belt instead of two sips. It's been up to here. It was up, up yesterday. So I'll probably leave my bag up high. These guys are nice and slick. It's actually really, really, really good water clarity. Yeah. Oh, I just about tossed down the carp. Yeah, it's real deep. There's probably some walleyes here. Yeah, probably. Right, not a lot, but a few. Yeah, that... Like, hold on to a rock while you walk. Oh! On the drop! That was... That... My day's made. Made. <laughs> Yeah, completely. I'm like, oh, I'll just let her sink down. Thwack. What is this? No big run. Yeah, I know. Don't don't tell me I like snags bumped into something and snagged it. Is that a catfish? Cat. Blue cat. Choked it. It's like clear in the back of his throat. <laughs> N 
not what I expected when it went thwack. Did you see the rod tip bounce? Well, I love catfish, so that's good. Looked like a flathead tried to eat him. Not a big one. Or blue. You on? I got snagged. No. Later. How tuned up are they if they're hitting a swim bait on the drop? That's not a snag. A he ain't bad. That's a big rod. Yeah. I got pretty good heat to him. Put the heat on him! Again. Get him up the top! Get him up the top! More heat! <laughs> we got a lot of heat. <laughs> I want to see him. He ain't bad. There's a lip with old line on it. See if I'm up there. Yeah. Straight heat. There he is. What was it? Cat? Looked like a r cat. I was just fighting that line, too. Looks like a channy. It? I'm not positive. I think he might be. It broke it. I don't know if the fish broke. I still got the fish. Yep. Was that a flat? It's a flat! <laughs> no wonder it's pumping down so hard. Look at the stuff I brought him through. Holy cow. Came down for cats. Got cats. <laughs> Got cats. Hold up that tangled mess in his mouth. Brought him through it all. That's just... <laughs> he's got a tangled web of line on his face. Made him seem a little bigger than he was. He ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> we come here expecting to catch some white species and we end up catching nothing but cats. But we're catching, so. Things can change, but we're catching. But we are catching. Nice one, Sam. First fly of the year. Gotta, gotta enjoy it. Yeah. When's the last time you caught a flathead in March? Not snagged? Not snagged. Probably never. Never. I don't I don't know if I have either. I might have when I live down here. Yeah. He's discombobulated. He got her figured out. Cool. Morning fishing trip success. Yeah. You gave him the heat. That's the heat I'm talking about right there, Sam. Yeah. Well, you still need to put the heat on him. Did he tag it, or did he, was he just there? I, I just went. I just went all the way down. All of a sudden, I'm like, that doesn't. That's something. <laughs> you know, yep. I was just like, I didn't feel the thump, but I was free lining it down. Right. Judging where we're standing, if we do hear the whistle, we definitely have to take that serious. Yeah. Still super impressed by that blue cat, how hard he hit that thing. Yeah, it's okay. There's some. Not big. I don't think. Doesn't sound big, but I don't know. The heat don't go up that line. Is this a fish with stripes? Kind of. Larry. Marky? It's Larry. It's been a while since I've caught a Larry. They're just mo. Look at that, dude. Oh, I know they're gutting it. Holy crap. Whatever. I can't remember the last time I caught a largemouth out of a river either. I think it's a largemouth. That's it. Right. You always wonder about like spotted bass or something when you go somewhere else. He liked that hard pop. <laughs> this is striper time. Is that them going out there now? It's more flipping, not popping. So the fish always bite better on weekdays. Yeah. Oh, damn. Guaranteed fact. Found that line. There's <laughs> just a wall of it down there. Can I get it to me? 
Don't, don't do that. You gotta catch them. Probably no northerns here. But I did get a little bit of line out. So chalk that up as a win. I'll add it to your disgusting line pile right here. All that in the face of a flathead. Makes a guy wonder what they're working on. Like what they're doing exactly. A lot of sparks flying up there. Grinding on something. Oh yeah, there's some line. Oh, it's good old uh, steel leaders. Very nice. No, that's not steel. That's just super heavy mono. It's like coated stuff. Might be stealing one of them there rattle traps from you. I think it's a uh, striped variety, I believe. They like the flash. I thought right. Nope. Drum? Drum. You can keep your rattle trap. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with the drum. They're just Rock not <laughs> not my favorite fish. Isn't it amazing how they fool you. Well, I seen that white. And he charged that. No, but I mean they hit it just like oh, a walleye yeah. or white bass or You're really getting out there, Sam. You got a seven and a half footer over there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah seven and a half foot is where it's at. I kinda like, like that rod. Good rattle trap rod. Yeah. I wouldn't want to use it for a swim bait. I don't like composites. Graphite, bud. It's only half graphite. Just because it's got graphite <laughs> on the name. Graphite, man. Mine's made of fire. Mine's made of lightning. lightning yeah. Lightning, <laughs> not fire. You know what make me really mad is if I see a bunch of white bass busting on the other side. You can't get there. Can't get there. You can get there. By the time you get over there, I'll probably be dead. Yeah, and I'll be wet. Wonder how long it'll be till I lose this casting spoon. Hope Sam's not too attached to it. Probably gonna snag every fish in the river with this thing. I thought I was off the bottom a long ways. Just like that. And this is why we can't have nice things. Your spoon made it one cast. No. Yeah. I thought I was even fishing it right on top. Apparently I was not. <laughs> you snagged way out there? Way out there. Weird. Call me sheephead. There we go. That was nice. Yep. Oh, are you big or are you in the junk? More heat. He might be. I think he's nice. There he came out. He's just dogging me. Feels like another cat. wrapped up in something I think. Might not get to see him. Oh yeah, he's all tangled up and stuff. Yeah. Felt well, something pop off. Swim on out of there. Appear to be getting in line for the moment. Just... 
feel like I'm fighting a GT, got to cut the spool. Get him to the top, keep him off the reef. There we go. Still haven't seen, there's a leader. Oh, flatty. Yep. First flathead of the year. Come here. Might be the same one you caught. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I thought this might be the case when I felt him absolutely crush it. it. Honestly felt like a walleye, but I don't think there's any walleyes here. First flathead of the year, and I caught him on appropriate size tackle, so it was fun to fight him and everything. I don't know. I'm kind of giggity about it. I'm going to try to play it off like it's no big deal, but deep down, I'm excited. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I might be going in with them. Man, he he's hard on that gold. I just want to fish with stripes. You got one yesterday. I just want to hook a 20 pounder. And hear the drag sizzle. That's it. Not greedy. No, I don't want to even play with the 50. I don't feel like replacing all the line on my reel. It'd make a hell of a story. Yep. That's your least favorite bird. You know you don't like them. I like them. You said they're ugly. You think they're ugly. I don't think they're ugly. I think they're a very unique and interesting bird. Kind of felt different. Trump. Might be a Trump. Now it feels very. Well, he's cutting. Feels different. Just fighting on top. Well, I saw Keller stay out of the the weeds. Oh, this might have stripes, bud. Yeah. What's it's a whitey. It's actually white, isn't it? Yep. Nice. They do exist. They do. Nice. That is a nice one. Another fish that hit on the drop. Ugh. Yeah. This is where the nets shine. Don't worry about it. I got my wish. I wanted to fish with stripes and got a fish with stripes. I think, uh, I don't know, man. I, I haven't caught a white bass like that in quite a while. But I guess this confirms we are on a true multi-species fishing trip now. Because we are definitely fishing for whatever the heck we could catch down here. Gonzo. <laughs> you gotta leave one of them in there. I gotta catch a fish, otherwise I'm gonna get snagged. Should probably just quit playing on the edges. Just reel it through it. Yeah. Right. All. Right close. Now you're, gonna, now you're gonna make me lose more jigs. Yeah, it's legit. It was right. There should be. I'm sure there is. It'd be pretty un-American of there not to be a fish on the edge of a drop-off. Yeah, I got a ton of them white paddle tails. I brought a whole pack of them. I have like six things I, I use regularly and then then probably three or four different things that I dabble in when the bite's tough. I caught a fish with stripes. Yep. Yeah. About two and a half pounder knife. True white. Nice one though. Guess when he hit it on the fall? Yeah, smoked it. And it's nice out now, not that jacket on. Gosh. 
I need to quit flirting with that edge. It just leads to disappointment. And a pile of lost jigs. Plenty of knot tying practice today. All right, we're gonna get packed up. We got our big wad of line here. We gotta haul up, yep. Doing our part. Just shove it in this bag of gold. Well, that was a fun little change of pace, and I'm glad we did it. But we're gonna hit, get on the road and head north, and we're gonna do something a little different up there, and I'm pretty excited about it, me and my buddy, uh, Jason. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.